Guys, today could literally be the day that we go to space. 50 starites are needed to go to space. I'm pretty sure we have 48. So all we need to do is visit one more place with two blue star missions. And we go to space in Scribblenauts Unlimited. Guys, I'm so excited. But also kind of sad. Because this could be the last episode ever. I don't know. I don't know if it will be. But we need to get some completion up in here. So uh, where are we right now? Oh. Yeah, I completely forgot. We're on the tilled reef with the, the jellyfish just trying to steal this and doing very, very badly. And our crazy little tabs guy is just chilling. So um, we need to get out of here straight away. But what should we choose? We could do the vowel cano. I see what you did there. Let's go there because that sounds pretty amazing. Um, Oh, look at him. I want an outfit like this guy. <laughs> and then we have, wow, a chicken. Okay, a crown. And some very strange lava and a giant cave woman fighting a dexterous fast behemoth. Okay, that sounds pretty crazy. And she's just a straight up titan. Nice. <laughs> so let me just check how many star rights we do have. We have 47. Okay, so we need three more. And we can actually do that with this one because we can get 10 mini star rights. But first, we need to dismount. We need to remove you, even though you're very good at doing press ups. We need to remove this. And we need to get ourselves something from the internet. Okay, I've chosen one. Let me show you what I picked. Here he is. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, he actually walks around as well. I didn't think that was going to happen. I was thinking, what is the complete opposite of something that would survive in a volcano? It would be a flying, rideable Poseidon fish. We need to make him golden, because I make everything golden. So let's do golden. There we go. Actually, I kind of prefer him without the gold. He looks kind of better without. So let's do that. And then let's mount this. Oh, he's just kind of golden anyway. Um, let's go ahead and why can't I mount you? Oh, I got rid of the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. Right. Perfect. Look at this. Look at the way he walks. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. Right. We got a lot to do today if we want to go to space. So let's get going. What is the first person we need to help out? The Titan. Give me something so I can play fetch with my... Oh, it's your dog. I thought you were fighting each other. And there's loads of, like, um, tiki people down here, I guess. They must have fallen down somewhere. Can you actually fly? He can't actually fly. You're, you're a terrible flying fish, guys. So we might have to give him some wangs right now. So let's give him those. Hey, you're really slow. That's better. Look at this. <laughs> We've got... Oh, hold on a second. Who is this? Leon, my ray gun needs a colder source of power. Give me something to change my ray gun into a freeze ray. Okay, I'm going to do that now and see what happens to all the lava. He looks like my evil twin right here. So he needs just like a, a giant ice cube. That's what you need. Enjoy. There we go. Straight in. Is he actually going to do it? Is he going to do it? You can now play as Maxwell's brother, Leon. Oh, look. He's like made all his... Oh. <laughs> he froze himself. What an idiot. Unlucky Leon. See you later. <laughs> I got more people to help. Including this gentleman right here. That was a terrible vacation spot. Help me ward off the dehydration. It's a brown dryad. Okay, so you need orange juice. Just straight up orange juice. If I could spell, that would be beautiful. There we go. Orange juice. Enjoy, buddy. It's going to be beautiful. It might turn you orange, though. Oh, it turns you green. There we go. It's like a cherry tree and a, an almond tree. Wait, do almond trees even exist? I don't know, but it sounds good to me. Um, right, what else could we do? We've got this big blue mission here. Let's see what it is. Um, it is monster attack. Ward off the four horsemen of the apocalypse. First off, I want to get myself the star right that gets us up to 48. And then we can do that and finish it off. Right, um, I got massively distracted. I need to give you a giant blue bone. There we go. Enjoy. Throw it for your dog. There he goes. Are you going to get it? There we go. Did you grab it? He did. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. Is that pizza? Did you see that in the background? That looked like pizza. They look pretty happy though. Right, what's going on here? This guy, who are you? A halfling. I forgot what I was supposed to throw in this volcano. Oh, wait, are you like from Lord of the Rings? Do you need a golden ring? I think you might do. Here, throw this in. Hey, he did it. Just throw it in. Oh, no. What are you doing? No. Oh, my goodness. Why is there a giant bird? Okay. Um, Things just got a little bit weird. So he thought that... The, oh, no. The dog. The dog died. The dog got cooked alive. He thought he was throwing the ring to fetch it. And it turns out he wasn't. 
at all. And then the halfling just flies off. I mean, that's just rude, right? Who's next? Oh, this is a big blue mission as well. This is help save the village from a volcano that's about to erupt. Okay, that sounds pretty awesome too. But first, let's get all our mini ones. What is this? Provide the spark of life. A small pillar. Is that ash? That could be the ash from, from grandma. It could be from grandma last time we were here. We just need like, um, lightning. Just need a big old zap of lightning and then grandma will be reborn. Zap! It worked. It works. Look, the ritual is happening. She turned into a, a baby phoenix. Oh, that's amazing, Grandma. I'm glad your soul is embodied within this beautiful creature. I miss you, kind of, even though you tried to eat a child. But hey, enough about that. That's in the past. Right, what's up with you? You are... Help me temper this magic sword. You're a blacksmith. So a magic sword needs a magic mallet, I guess. That looks pretty magic to me. Go on, smack it. Smack it. Boom. Yes. It's working. Oh, that's amazing. Wait, what did you just do? Where did my fish go? What did you do to my fish? Ballistic, spectacular, invincible, golden Excalibur. Give me that. You know what? You took my fish, so I'm going to take your sword. Give me the sword. Give me the sword right now. Hey, there we go. I could attack you if I wanted to. I could kill you right here and now. But I'm not going to, because I'm nice. Even though you killed my fish. Okay, here is a... What even is this? A cockatrice? Is it like... It's it's just got a chicken with a lizard tail, I guess. Right, what's wrong with you guys? So you... Free us from the cockatrice's petrifying gaze. Oh, is, does it turn you to stone? Only one thing to do. Hit. Smack. Did it work? Is it gonna blow up? Is it gonna... It's actually... Oh! Hey! <laughs> Since when does a golden Excalibur make things explode when you touch it? I have no idea, but hey, I'm not complaining. You guys are free. My crown is lost in this volcano. Please return it to me. Oh, so you have a mission for us as well? I think I saw it over here, right? Yeah, this is it. Can I grab this? Pick up. No, no, get out the lava. Oh, jeez. That could have gone terribly, terribly wrong. Okay, now give. There we go. Become the king. You look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I want this back, though. Don't die. Don't die. Oh, no. What? What is going on? What is going on? Excuse me? No, I'm gonna die. What? What has happened? I just like... I, oh, that's annoying. Oh, I see what happens. So if I head back... Oh, I need to fly. I need my fish back. That seems really random to say, but I need my fish. I miss him. Go forth, little fish. That looks so weird. So basically what happened is, is you can't take it off the pedestal without replacing it with something. So what I did was I took the... If I take the crown off, then this big shield will come up and I will die, which is terrible. So, um, we've got three left to go. And one of them is this guy. What is this? A red cinder-like ooze. Okay, that's that's a bit aggressive. I struck ooze. Find a way to contain it for me. I'm going to give you a, um, a giant jar. And then you can put him inside. No? Put him inside. Put him inside the jar. Put him inside the jar! Fine. Fine, you know what? Um, how do I contain ooze? Can I not just get my golden Excalibur back and just hit him with it? Attack! Smack! There we go. Oh, wow, that's- a, that's- Oh! No! No, my fish died. My fish died. This guy is aggressive. Right there, smack him. Uh, smack him. Smack him, buddy. Jeez. This is gonna be bad. This is gonna end up bad for me. And bam! No! It got half a heart each. No, I died again. <laughs> Continue. Oh, that's what happened last time. I reset the level. Oh, that's annoying. All right, I'm grabbing myself a jetpack. My fish just ain't cut out to be here in the volcano. Here we go. Jetpack's galore. Golden Excalibur. Can I kill this thing now? Here we go. Let's attack. Wait, what? I can't even attack it. Where did my... Where is everything going? Everything's disappearing. Give me my golden Excalibur back. Jeez. Now you go and die. There we go. Got him. Now, are you happy? Are you happy? Did I ruin it? I ruined it. Oh, I'm doing so badly today. Right, let's continue the rest and then we'll go back to this guy. I did give him a jar and he just didn't use the jar. Right, what's your problem, buddy? How's it going? Throw dinner inside my cauldron. Okay, you need a T-Rex steak. One of a kind. Oh, a teen steak? Would he eat that? Let's see what happens. Let's pop it in here. It did. He turned it into a chicken as well. Tastes like chicken. He thinks a teenager tastes like chicken. I mean, it could do. I, 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 don't, I don't really know. Now, the cool thing is we only need one more mini star, right? To get up to 48. Then we do the big blue missions. And then we go in space. I don't know what happens when we go to space. But it's been a long time coming. And I cannot wait. Right, I'm going to zoom out really far and see who the next mission is for. Where's the other mini mission? It's you. Are you a... What are you? Are you a turkey? 
You, you're a Teratorn. Is that kind of a turkey? That's a drivable... Wait, 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 wait. This says drivable dinosaur egg. What is the mission? I need to step out, but I can't leave my egg alone. Okay. Can I ride this? I can. I'm literally sitting on the egg for it. And it moves. Oh, look at this. <laughs> That's so dumb. Oh, it cracked open. Whoops. Um, Are you my mama? Um, No. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. But I did get my star right, so I need to leave. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully your mum come back soon. Oh, this could be really awkward. Right, so it doesn't actually matter that we killed that red slime, because we can just do the blue missions now and go straight to space. Right, let's try and ward off the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That's That's got to be easy, right? Deter the four horsemen. Stop the disease brought on by the pestilence. Okay. Wow, look at my outfit. Beautiful. Oh, I like this guy. He's a pestilence. So what do I need to do? Get rid of the diseases. There's... Oh, I thought that lava was coming to hit me then. So the pestilence has created uh, some diseases because it says cure us of this disease. What is it? Can I literally just use like uh, medicine? Is that all we need to get rid of the pestilence? Let's see. He he's drinking it. It worked. It it's gone. And the pestilence dies. That's how you defeat an apocalypse, guys. Oh, wait. There's a new one. Okay. What's the next one going to be? He has... Made them go to war? I mean, is that what it's supposed to be? The disease has passed, but war has broken out. Find a way to stop the war. That's amazing. He literally gave them tanks. Okay, so who will help end the war? Why are they hula dancers? Am I missing some kind of important history here? So we can make the tanks be broken. Would that work? And let's break this one as well. So they can't use the tanks. Boom. There we go. So the tanks are broken. But how do you end war? Can we just get like a, a, a peace flag, maybe? Flag. Yeah, flag. Oh, no, it doesn't work. What about a surrender flag? Ah, oh, slender scavenger. Oh, I don't know. Let's do slender flag. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Throw it away. Do we need a dictator? That doesn't end the war, though, does it? Oh, you look very aggressive. And kind of like that, that mean woman from Harry Potter. Right, let's put her in here and see what happens. It worked. No way that actually worked. It actually worked and he's gone. Pestilence, get out of here, buddy. Oh, look at this guy. He's like solid black. He's creating famine, hunger. This is going to be easy. All you need is a giant teen steak. They are beautiful. The war has ceased, but famine, look, has depleted their food supply. Helped by feeding the natives. There you go. Enjoy. They all love teen steak. Everyone in Scribblenauts loves teen steak. Oh, man, you guys are gross. Frankly, you're gross. Right, last one. Here he is. The original Grim Reaper Pestilence. Oh, did you just kill them? Why would you do that? What have you done? Despite filling their stomachs, death has taken them. Find a way to ward off death by bringing them back to life. That's a very, very hard thing to do. Can I just give them uh, water of life? No, water of lice. That's not going to help. What about just like holy water? That could work. Let's drop it. Boom. <laughs> it literally bopped on the head. Look. <laughs> no, that's not going to work. Uh, Wow. I don't even know what to do here. So the pestilence. No, that's literally death. He's not even a pestilence. He's literally death. Um, What do I do? How do I bring people back to life? Like a, a good doctor, maybe? <laughs> Let's see. Bam. Here we go. Oh, wait. He's a very good doctor. Oh, my goodness. He can bring people back to life. Can you imagine if a doctor like that existed? He'd be a very, very rich man. Right. Um. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much. I'm going to take the credit and take the star right off your hands. We're on to 49. This is fantastic. I'm so looking forward to getting our last one, which is just over here. And I think we need to stop the volcano. So it's quite the, the blue stars in this level have really tested us. We kind of need to almost be godlike to bring people back to life and stop a volcano erupting. Let's go. I think I get an amazing outfit for this one as well. Here we go. Volcano sacrifice. Oh, not sure how I feel about that, but let's see what's going down. We've got the lava. Big old bubbles of lava. And what are you doing? Is it going to erupt into their house? I think it is. Right, let's see what it says. The volcano is going to erupt. Help save the shaman's village by sacrificing objects to the volcano goddess. Right, three bounties of earth to throw into the volcano. Bounties of earth. So, like, uh, seeds? <laughs> Can we just throw seeds? Just a seed. That's fine. Drop the seed! Hey, that's cool. And then we can just do, like, uh, dirt. I'm literally just going to give her dirt. Did that work? I don't know if that worked. Let's try um, soil. Let's do soil instead. It's pretty much the same. 
No, that didn't work. Grass. Grass definitely will work. There we go. And a rock. Let's just do a rock. Here we go. And badam. Eh, no. Did that just get disintegrated? Grass survived, but a, a pebble breaks in half. What else? Uh, a tree. Let's just give her a tree. Enjoy your tree, buddy. There we go. Nice. Okay. Did that work? Are you pleased? The tree's just burning in the middle. Oh, that's horrific. It's still rising. Okay, this isn't good. Don't panic, buddy. I've got this. It's gonna be okay. I'm almost godlike. The volcano is still angry. Maybe it's unhappy with our dependency on technology. Try to appease it by writing more sacrifices. Like, what? Can I just do a cell phone? Can we do that and just drop that in? There we go. That's fine. That works. Um, a car. It doesn't like technology in a car because cars have Wi-Fi and stuff now. And then just like this go big. Let's go a big old train. There we go. Train can go in there too. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it worked. We got rid of all our technology. We kind of burn a tree at the same time, which is probably why they're still mad. Okay, we can do this, though. Don't worry. Don't worry. We can still do this. What's the last thing going to be? The volcano keeps rising. Perhaps the volcano goddess wants a monetary sacrifice. Create a donation for the volcano. You absolute slime ball. You want a giant gold bar. I can't believe it. They want monetary payment? The god of volcanoes wants monetary payment. Okay, right. Let's just throw it in there. Let's forget about it. It's going to melt anyway. She won't be able to cash it in. It'll be fine. Actually, we should have done like dollars or something because they would have burnt up and they would have been useless. Right. We need to stop this volcano. This is the only thing stopping us from going to space. Whoa. Hello. The offerings did not work. Now the volcano goddess has appeared and is demanding a love interest. Write a mate that she'll be happy with. Excuse me. You took my golden bar and you weren't happy with it. So I'm going to give you a dirty angel. There we go. Dirty angel. There you go. Yes, it worked. <laughs> you have to live with this stinky man all your life. I should have made him stink. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, They're just going to swim in the lava. Well, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not my problem. And this, guys, this right here is the final star right we need. Let's go to space. <laughs> Good job. Go and check on Lily at the farm to unlock new levels. Is Lily going to be like a proper... Oh, geez, look at her face. Is she going to be like a proper rock now? Like a statue? Is her, her eyes going to be covered? I feel really bad. Oh! Hello. Hey, it's my space age friend. How you doing, buddy? You invited me to hang out on your spaceship. I like that. I like that a lot. Get out of here. I'll meet you there. <laughs> but what's going to happen to you? Oh, no. She's turned to stone. She's fully turned to stone. Okay. We're on to level 50, but look, if you look back here, we need 60? Oh, why? Okay, guys, this isn't going to be the last episode. It's just not going to happen. We need to go to space. What have we got the option of? Syntax Station. We've also got Counter Craters. And we've also got Palindromameda. Palindromida. I guess, something like that. So we can go to space, but we do need to complete even more to get 60 starites in total. I mean, we're pretty close. We only need 10. So let's go to the big old Syntax Station and visit space. And then hopefully save Lily in the next episode. I want to do some space missions, though. This looks awesome. There's a monkey. There's a monkey and a horse and a cowboy. What is going on? I don't even need to fly here, but I might give myself the old fast adjective. There we go. That's better. All right, let's get an astronaut helmet. Perfect. That kind of looks like a scuba helmet, but that's fine. And let's start doing some good deeds, shall we? So here is the cowboy. My cow tried to jump over the moon, and now she is stuck out there. Bring her back inside. Where's your cow? Where is your cow? There she is. Um, okay. Do I just need to grab her with a rope, I guess? There we go. I got you. I got you, cow. Come back in. Come back inside. You know you want to. Why has the cow got wings? Come on, come back inside. It's okay. Your, your farmer is really worried about you. Come inside. Now. <laughs> He's probably mad that you bought a horse, to be fair. Um, let's remove this. And we done it. There you go. Look, he's got it on the leads. Him and the horse and the cow are happy in space. I mean, what better story could you think of? I mean, wow. Right, what's the big star mission in this one? Infiltrate the space station to shut down the supercomputer. That looks like a brain to me. Um, it's a little bit weird, but we'll forgive it for now. We'll do that afterwards. I need to see this monkey first. What are you doing, buddy? The student has captured the master. I'm willing to trade for his freedom. Okay. You just need, like, a, a diamond banana. There we go. Treasure it, buddy. This is the only one in the world. Enjoy. There we go. Um, can I try your glasses on, please, as well? 
Thank you. Nope, that's the banana. Okay, that went really high in the air. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will steal those glasses. No, give me those. Wait, no, give me the glasses. I found them. They're up here with the, the diamond banana. Do you need some help? Why? Are you, a are you a bodybuilder? You are. Help me work out while I'm away from Earth. Okay, you need heavy... Uh, what are they called? Dumbbells? There we go. Dumbbell. Perfect. Heavy dumbbell. Enjoy. Yeah, she knows what she's doing. That'll be so easy. You can literally just like do so many weights without even thinking about it. That's amazing. I'm going to take this banana. I mean, why not? How many people are there? There's only eight. That's not even that many. Who else needs some assistance? Ah, oh, an alien. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What's the problem? Real humans, give them an environment to pose in. Oh, the tourists are back. You were literally in the first ever episode. So we need like a um, cardboard city, I guess. Does that work? That looks pretty cool. Come on, you have to take a picture in front of them. There we go. That looks cool. I like that. Good job, guys. But you kind of took a picture of me without my helmet on. What, are you supposed to take a picture of them? You know what? Forget it. You guys can argue between yourselves. And who's this? Is he an evil scientist? He's a mad scientist. I've seen you before as well. Uh, help test the blue teleporter by placing something on it. Ooh, we could put anything on here. So let's go to the internet and find something. I have just the thing. The king of hearts. I mean, why not? He's floating. Oh, wait, is it going to work? Let's see if it works. Oh! Okay, uh... Yeah, that didn't work. Did you see that? Zombies. Zombies happened. Are you okay? I have no idea. I could throw the banana at him. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, 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 no. Don't go away. Don't do it. Oh, it activated the teleporter again. <laughs> He's now very scared of bananas and me. Very strange. Okay, so we've done your job. Can we leave? We can. Look, we can actually go outside. Oh, this is nice. This is a really cool spaceship. I mean, my brother or friend or whatever he is, he must be a pretty wealthy guy to own a spaceship like this. Who needs help up top here? So we've got two people to help out. How many are left? Three. Okay, good. Right, what's your problem? We hit a firefly during flight. I can't leave the ship to clean it off. Will you help? Oh, it's here. Skinny, long, dead firefly. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Right, let's go and kill that. What is this planet? That's a crazy big planet. I like it, though. All right, where's this firefly? Can I literally just pick it up? There we go. Um, it's gone. <laughs> it literally just disappeared. Man, you know what? You can't just kill fireflies like that. It should be illegal. But then, mind you, our, our driver would be arrested, and that wouldn't be fun. So, um, what have we got next? It's a corgi. It is! So cute. Um, we couldn't afford tickets, so she is threatening to send us through the airlock. Oh, uh, you just need, like, a uh, just a ticket. You just need a ticket, right? Enjoy the space station. There we go. You can't just not let a dog that cute on board. What's wrong with you? Right, so where is the final mini star, right? I need as many as I can get right now. There's the big one. There's the cow. Where's the last one? Oh, who's this? Hey, buddy, how's it going? A spy. I remember the satellite, but I forgot the spy gear. Will you help me? Of course, you need uh, night vision goggles. Perfect. Enjoy them. There we go, look. <laughs> He's literally riding on a satellite. This guy is... I kind of want to be this guy now. I like it. Oh, look, we can actually move to the next location from here. That's actually pretty handy. But for now, let's go ahead and do the blue star mission because we completed it. Otherwise, here we go. Infiltrate the space station and shut down the supercomputer. That has a big brain, I'm guessing, which is pretty crazy. So let's give it a go. There's the brain. Look at it. Just chilling. There's a giant robo hamster. No way. We gave him a frozen robo hamster before. That's crazy. If that's just coincidence, that's crazy. If it's remembered it from before, it's even crazier. The League of Evil Scientists are back. Gain their trust to sneak into the compound. The first scientist jetpack doesn't work. Okay, I'm chargeless. You need a battery. Let's give you a nice charging station for your, for your thing. There we go. Is that all you needed? I didn't realize you need to power up the jetpack. You must have a cheap one. <laughs> Mine are fine. The evil veterinarian has... <laughs> A hard time finding animals in space. Show him an animal that can live without gravity. So like a bird or something? Nice jetpack, helipack thing. What is that? Can I steal that? I want it. Thank you. Stolen heli backpack. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm holding it though. I don't want to hold it. Okay, fine. You can have it back, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't even give it back to him. I'm so sorry. Right, let's give him a vulture. There we go. Enjoy. Hey, you liked it. Good. Make it better again. Here's the big brain. The neuroscientist has had a hard time teaching this brain. Help fill it with knowledge. I'm going to just ram in. I'm just going to ram a dictionary 
into its brainwave. So let's hold this. Let's give it this dictionary and put it on it. There we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> nice. The robo hamster has grown so much. Help the robotocyst ride the robo hamster. That's easy, buddy. Seriously? Seriously, you're having trouble with that? You call yourself a neuro... Wait, what are you? You call yourself a roboticist? Help me ride this hamster. Um, do we need to make it smaller? Tiny. There we go. Uh, okay, that's, that's not helpful at all. Let's give it a saddle instead. There we go. Saddle, I'll give it to you. Okay, you're just riding the saddle. That's not helpful. There you go. Yes, I put the saddle on the hamster. Look at him going backwards and forwards, you crazy man. The barber has a fiendish haircut plan, but lacks the tools. Give him something to cut the emo boy's hair. Wait, are you kidding me? It actually calls him an emo boy? No way. It actually is, you could spawn in emos. Oh man, that's, that's funny. <laughs> okay, so you need some emo skizzers then, don't you? Skizzers, perfect. There we go, emotional scissors for an emotional haircut. Enjoy, buddy. Oh my goodness. Look at his hair. Look- Oh! What did you just do to me? That's like Portal. That's amazing. The emo boy was not happy, and I'm not surprised. He literally has a bold patch. It's like cutting the whole top of my head and just leaving the rest there. Insane. The final room seems empty. Find a way to shut down the space station. Why would I want to do that? Seriously, why would I want to do that? That's just, uh, a switch could help shut this place down. Oh! Why did I do that? Here's the evil scientist. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Yes, I, I I fell into your hands. Captured. If the supercomputer gets disabled, the space station should lose power and the cage will unlock. Perfect. I don't know what to do, though. He's a cyborg. That's cool. Which is the supercomputer? Is it this? Uh, let's try a puddle. Would a puddle work? No, it literally absorbed the puddle. He must be a real supercomputer. Um, let's just get a heavy rock and then hopefully that will just bash it to death. No, it floats. It's in space. What am I thinking? Can I just do broken? I can. That's so cheaty. <laughs> and now he's disabled. Is he going to die? He's frazzled. Oh, man. <laughs> we completed the space station, though. That's awesome. Give me this. Thank you. Right, I think we have time for one more space level. And then next time, we're going to go ahead and save Lily. Finally, right, let's continue this, and where should we go next? We've got, oh, there's only three space missions or space places. The Kana Craters or the Palindromeda. Uh, they both have two big ones, and let's go for the smaller one. Let's go to the Palindromeda. I'm probably saying it completely wrong, but let's go there anyway. Oh, it's like aliens. Yo, this is cool. I want to help the aliens. This is nice. Look at all these guys. You're weird. Very weird. There's a brain in a jar. Look at that. Oh, you actually need help as well. I need something brainless to inhabit. Okay, you need a tiny zombie. Let's do a tiny zombie. There we go. Inhabit the brain of that. There we goes. That's a big brain. Did you see it move along? That was so weird. That was so, so weird. Don't bite me, though. Tiny undead zombie. Okay, uh, leave me alone. Leave me alone. What's your problem, buddy? Are you okay? Help the astronaut prisoner escape from the alien compound. You know what? Let's do that straight away. I normally leave them to last, but let's do it as we go along. This guy's gonna bite my toes. <laughs> An astronaut has been taken prisoner. Get him out of the status field. Okay, um, um, what is on my face? So, can we touch this? I'm guessing we can't. How do I get him out of the stasis field? Jeez. Ow! Does that me? Maybe we can use scissors to cut this. Use. Let's see if flying will help. Wait, did it work? Let me use. No? Is that not working? That's annoying. How do you stop a stasis field? It's a Van de Graaff generator. Can we just remove it? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. I got scissors for no reason. Get out of here, buddy. We've got to get past the deadly alien laser gates. That sounds horrific. Let's try that, shall we? <laughs> um, I don't know how we'll do this. Is there anything? There's literally... What's that? A, a hay tie. That looks crazy. Is that what aliens use as their pets? Um, how can we get past these? If all else fails, throw a rock. That didn't work. It literally disintegrated the rock. Um, uh, yeah, I literally have no idea how to do this. If I interact, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna zap me. Good job, good job. Actually, uh, let's try changing the laser's direction. Okay, that worked. A mirror works, that's fantastic. Right, I'll meet you up there, buddy. It's woken up. This is not good, he looks pretty scary. We've got to get past the dog without harming it. 
I've got just the thing. A cage! Here we go. Come on, that's gotta work. That's gotta work. Put him in the cage. How does that not work? Okay, I'm gonna give him a teen steak. I mean, why not? Let's let's see what happens. Hey, there we go. Distracted. Quick, quick, quick. That didn't even work. I literally can't go up there until it's... Oh, wait, I know what to do. Oh, you can't even add an adjective? Now what am I supposed to do? Uh, sleep gas. Sleepy gas. Did it work? Will this send it to sleep? No! What do I do? I can't add an adjective to it. Maybe he wants a giant teen steak. Let's give him one of those. Because he saw someone give me those earlier. Do you want one? Buddy, do you want this? Do you want it? Look. It's nice, right? It's so nice. Look, you, you want to come off the edge here so we can actually kind of uh, eat? No. Wait, get past? Yeah, that's what you want. Follow me. Okay, I'm going. There we go. Right. And you're going this way as well. How did this guy get stuck here? Hurry up. Let's get to the ship. This isn't going to go well, is it? There's something's going to go wrong. It has to go wrong. It has to go wrong. Or I've got to fix his ship from him because it's literally in pieces. Oh, no. My ship is broken. How will I get out of here? You just need a new spaceship. No, that didn't work. Okay, you just need uh, a rocket, I guess. Nope, that didn't work either. Okay, can I give it to you? Wow, okay. Um, Let's just grab ourselves a mechanic. I mean, let's just do it. There you go. Fix my ship for me. There we go. Hey, can I get a ride? Excuse me, buddy. Excuse me. No. Give me a ride out of here. I'm on the alien plate. Actually, you know what? No, just give me a star ride. I kind of like the alien place. I'm going to stay. <laughs> 53. We're getting ever closer, guys. This is exciting. Um, right. What are we out? No, he just bit me. Are you kidding me? I'm a fast suspect undead Maxwell. Whoops. Uh, so, Mr. Pig, um, what are you doing here? What's wrong with you? Give me something from the farm. I know exactly what you need. Hey, enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. And the song spawns in as well. And now he's undead because I've touched him. I'm sorry. He's lost his eyes. Is his eye even there? I don't even know. I'm sorry, pig. I'm sorry. You do look better, though. Next up is you. Uh, I'm craving a bite to eat from Earth. Oh, my goodness. Giant hot dog. If I could crave any food, has to be a hot dog. There you go. One bite? And now she's undead and asleep. Okay, that's fine. Who else can we help? Can we help these aliens? Oh, no, we can help our friend up here. You look like you're from the wrong time period, buddy. Help me find some non-language related way to communicate with the Martians. Um, can you get an etch, a sketch? Is that a thing? No. What is this, though? Oh, it's, it's a guy. Okay, uh, let's just put him down. And now he's dead. Okay, I'm gonna put you away. <laughs> non-language related way. Could you use, like, a, a notepad to just draw stuff, maybe? There we go. Nope. Okay, fine. What about a whiteboard? Enjoy! You're terrible. You know what? This would work. You could draw pictures and stuff. No? I really don't know what this guy would want. Help me find some non-language-related way to communicate with Martians. What could you use to communicate with Martians? Okay, I had to look it up. It's... It, he needs a piano. He needs a piano. I mean, how... Oh, Ludwig. Oh, for goodness sake. I've just realized why. Ludwig van Beethoven. Wow. Okay, the universal language. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, fine. This, this piano has to go now, though. Sorry. See you later, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, they're all undead. Okay. I'm turning even the aliens undead. Look at the way they're dancing. <laughs> that's so weird. I definitely shouldn't be turning everyone undead. That's a, that's a very bad idea. But hey, let's try to help out some other people. What what are you? A mothman. Give me something to see Earth. You need a giant telescope, my friend. I'll come up and give it to you. Right, let me jump. There we go. I think I've lost my flying ability because I'm undead. Right, giant telescope. Whoa, that's huge. Okay, yeah, that should definitely be able to see Earth. I see Earth from my house. Oh, no. I've just turned him undead as well. He looks pretty cool, though. That's nice. Mothman is a cool guy. Is he a superhero? Is he a supervillain? Who knows? All I know is I need a scooter to get around a little bit faster. This is not working out. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's how that works. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was amazing. Who else needs our assistance? We've got this guy right here. He's an android. I want to look human. I know exactly what to give you. Oh, literally just skin. Yes! He turned into a king! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Right, can this scooter fly? Nope. No, it can't. Oh no! Oh jeez. Okay, I need to be down here actually. That's fine. So I need to help out. You've got the big blue star, but... Why is there a child here? No, no, no! Don't eat the baby! Why did you eat the baby? Oh! Jeez! I'm gonna have to reset the level now. You ate 
the child. You can't just do that. Oh, my goodness. It's my own fault. <laughs> Eating the baby. I mean, really, guys, what's wrong? Okay, give me a superpower. Okay, let's give you... How can I... Wait, how can I give him a superpower? Can I just make him invisible, maybe? Let's do invisible. There we go. Oh, okay. You literally turn from a baby into an adult straight away. See, see you later, buddy. Okay. Was that your own child? I think it was. They literally ate their own child. Right. Last blue star. What's up, buddy? Uh, help the roboticist defend against the invading monsters. You don't do too well here, buddy, do you? You're just kind of getting overtaken by the things you create. But that's fine. You know what? Don't be embarrassed. What have we got here? That's a that's a weird robot. Help the roboticist defend the city. First, give him something strong yet malleable. He's looking for some kind of metal up in here, but I'm not sure what kind of metal you need. You know what? He's just gonna take it anyway. Perfect. Where did you go? Hello? Oh, he's got in the factory. He made a robot. Oh, that's cool. And he's gonna defeat the zombie. Is that okay? Is that what he was supposed to do? Good. That worked great. Now, let's make him more agile by making it partially living. How do I do that? Can I give it a heart? Organ. That'd be amazing. Give the heart. Yes, it worked! He's going into his power plant. That's that's kind of weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's actually alive. What is he fighting? What even is that? An Ahul? These are some crazy things coming out of this game right now. Crazy things. He's done it though. The robot with a heart is doing it. He's dribbling a little bit as well. Uh, let's make it even more powerful. We're adding a prehistoric creature. You on yourself. A pterodactyl. I don't know if that's the way you spell it. It's not. But there you go. Dinosaur. Perfect. He's just going to throw the dinosaur into the power plant. The dinosaur was literally bigger than that. Whoa! Okay, it's back. It's back. Look at that slime monster. What is that? A Shoggoth. I think I've seen one of you before. But you're going to get killed by this giant monster. Oh, my goodness. This is... What is going on? I thought this was just a simple robot mission. If it could fly, it would be unstoppable. That means we need to give it metal tiny wings or tiny metal wings. They're not even metal, but take them. Take them and fly, buddy. Take them and fly. Be the robot you always wanted to be. There it is. Oh my goodness, look at this. A mecha versus a Jabberwock. Yo. One punch? One punch and he's dead. This guy's unreal. Absolutely unreal. Okay, right, you know what? Let's grab our star right. I think that makes it 53. I'm fairly sure. 54, that's even better. We did it, guys. Level complete. Look at us. Look at us doing things in space. So you know what? All we have to do now is we need... Wait, 54? So we need six star rights to go back to Lily and hopefully save her life. We still have crazy things like the Meta Forest, the Anaphora Hills to complete. And then we've got one more space place to complete as well, which is the Kana Craters. But um, guys, I think that's unfortunately all the time I have left for today. It has been super awesome visiting Scribblenaut Space with you guys. But the next episode, unless there's some crazy new development, will be the last episode of Scribblenauts, which is crazy. But I'm so excited to find out the end of you guys. If you are excited to collect that 60th star right and try and save Lily, and if you're excited to visit space and you enjoyed this video, please leave a big fat thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. And if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily gameplay videos. And if you feel like sticking around for a little bit longer and watching another video of mine, why don't you check out this one right here? I think you will love it. Space was fun. <laughs>